Hello, One Tiger Nation, and welcome back to One Tiger Nation News. Welcome back. And now for those of you who don't know, today is a very monumental day. Today marks the Area 51 raid in Nevada. So now we'll start this off right with an out of this world roaming the halls. So, Mr. Powell, uh, do you believe in aliens? I'm a teacher. I work with them every day. Oh, sure. Yeah. They yeah. exist. Yeah. No, I don't believe in aliens. Well, I kind of think that uh, there's a possibility there could be life on another planet. Um, uh, no. No. I do. I believe that, statistically speaking, there has to be some other life forms on other planets out there. Most likely within our own solar system, there is at least small, like, uh, microscopic, if nothing else, life. That's, that's what I, I believe, based on just probability. Yeah. I do, but not, not that they have come to Earth. Because I think the universe is too, too uh, vast and time is too long for them to, two civilizations to come, come into each other. Uh, do you think the aliens have already come to Earth? I know they have. Have you met our math department teachers? That's that's very hard. Uh, speaking of aliens, uh, about that. speaking of aliens, yeah. sure. Yes. I think maybe they already have been here. I wouldn't. Okay. I mean, would you? Would you want to? I don't. I think it would be hilarious if they have, and it would be really weird if they traveled like the amount of distance it is between stars just to like hang out with hillbillies and turn cows inside out. Like that just seems a little. Seems like a little bit like they're they're not using their resources correctly. Do you think the government is hiding aliens at Area 51? No, I think the aliens are living among us. I think they're here at RCHS. Probably not, because they're terrible at hiding everything else, so I can't imagine they're good at hiding that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I think it's really funny that people think they are, but I just really don't. I think there were, there we've already had, like, this is all documented. We know the planes are being tested there, so no, I, I really don't think they are. Do, if they showed up, do you think they'd be hostile or friendly? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would probably say they would have almost unlimited resources, so they'd probably be friendly, would be my guess. They wouldn't need our, our, our world for our resources. They're not going to show up here and obliterate us just to get some water when they could get it out of, you know, uh, out of other places in a solar system that aren't inhabited. So I would just assume that they would hopefully be a curious, uh, intellectual, spacefaring society that would want to maybe study us, maybe get to know us, maybe uh, enlighten us. That's my hope. But if they attacked, what would you say to rally the troops to fight back? Yeah, I would say good luck. If they're, <laughs> they're good enough to travel across the universe, uh, we don't stand a chance, or even the galaxy. I would probably mix up several different uh, movie speeches, and I would say something to the effect of, uh, this is our time. This is our time. And today is our Independence Day. And they can take our lives, but they can't take our freedom. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we cut that? <laughs> I'm sorry. What would I say to rally the troops to fight back? Viva RCHS! Thanks guys, and now let's go back down to Earth with a brand new Here's What's New with William at Area 51. I'm William, reporting from Area 51, and welcome back to your favorite news source. Not a lot of school news for next week, but let's get to it. One last reminder for those attending Walk with a Doc, a seminar on personal care will take place at the Only City Park tomorrow at 9 a.m. Just in time for when you get back from the raid in Nevada. You'll need to know how to take care of yourself after that massacre. If you get back, that is. Once again, the Fall Festival is coming up soon. It starts Saturday, September 28th, and we highly encourage you to come and check it out. Uh, oh, right. Mrs. Ginder will be holding auditions for Bringing On the Musical at Richland County Middle School at 3 p.m. And the workshop has been moved to next Tuesday, so be sure to stop by to get some pointers before your audition. We hope you're watching this as the Area 51 raid takes place today, and we fully anticipate our view count to drop like a stone. Good night, you buffoons, and may natural selection carry thee to thy rest. 
That's all the news we have for this week. Back to you, Langston. Thanks, Will. And now here's some history on the Area 51 raid. June 27th, 2019. One idea. 3,600,000 people. Originally meant as a small joke, turned out to be a viral sensation. The military base known as Area 51 was put on alert for September 20th, 2019. The joke was that people are going to raid Area 51 to see if it did in fact contain aliens. The Facebook page had a slow start during the first three days, only reaching 40 people. The page had then gained traction quickly on the fourth day, reaching thousands, which eventually reached the 3.6 million there are today. The page quickly got its popularity because of Facebook, TikTok, Reddit, and Instagram being spread around. The pages started making attack plans of key figures of today's society. The Naruto runners will take on the barrage of bullets and cause a distraction getting everyone close. The rock throwers will take out the guards and start shutting down the fire. The Kyles will drink monsters and break down the walls. And the Karens will override the place and keep everyone in charge busy. Then the rest of us are gonna sneak in to the back. If all goes well, we'll all be leaving with our own alien. But then there are other things we could get from there, like the hand sanitizer that kills 100% of germs, the microwave that heats all the food and not just the bowl. Also, maybe, just maybe, a working McDonald's ice cream machine. Thanks. And now here's something a little bit more in our universe, the sports. Tonight, there is an away boys varsity football game at Mount Carmel at 7. Tomorrow, there is a home vars cross country only invitational at 9.30. We also have a away boys JV and varsity soccer game at St. Anthony at 11. There is also an away girls JV and varsity volleyball match at Salem for the Salem, Invi Salem tournament at 9. We also have an away boys varsity golf match at Paris for the Paris Invitational. Monday, uh, we have a away boys fresh, fresh soft football game at Mount Carmel at 6.15. There is also a away girls varsity golf match at Mount Carmel at four. We also have an away boys JV and varsity soccer game at Harrisburg at five. There is also a boys away varsity golf match at Mount Carmel at 4. There is also a away girls varsity tennis match at Newton at 4.30. Tuesday, we have an away girls varsity tennis match at Teotopolis at 4.30. Wednesday, there is a home girls varsity golf match against St. Anthony and Mount Carmel at 4. We also have a away varsity cross country meet at Mattoon for the Mattoon Invitational at 4.30. There is also a home boys varsity golf match against Mount Carmel and St. Anthony at 4. Thursday, there is a home boys fresh soft football game at, against Mount Zion at 5.30. There is a home boys JV and varsity soccer game against Mount Carmel at 4.30. There is also an away boys varsity golf meet at Fairfield at 4. Lastly, there is a home girls varsity tennis match against Effingham at 4.15. And now let's wrap this up right with a preview of taste testing Mr. Don's very own salsa. I'm just about to drink this. You know what? <laughs> you know, I wasn't about it at first, but like... Can I get a oh. napkin? Oh my gosh.
watching. I hope to see you all back next week for another Spaced Out One Tiger Nation news. And I'll see you in the halls. You know what they say, as for me and Grandpa, we believe. And now, let's, let's just cut this one. Just get rid of it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs>